Mr. Kambona, what is the main purpose of your present visit to Nigeria? Well, as you know, I was invited by the Institute of International Affairs to um, come here for a lecture tour, mm. and therefore I accepted to come. Mm. Well, as a man who has occupied a very high post in your country's administration for some time, uh, what do you think of the present-day politics in Tanzania? Well, as you said, that I've, I have been in the uh, in the politics of Tanzania, trying to make my own little contribution, my own way, my own small way. I feel a bit unhappy with the development of the present in Tanzania because I have my concern that uh, the events are leading towards the establishment of a dictatorship in my country. Then how strong are the people who share this kind of view with you? Well, I think I should admit, I would admit that there's no way of finding this out because, as you know, um, in Tanzania there's only one party, and this, and this is one party by law. Mm. There is no way of finding out, but I, I believe that um, the majority of the people are as, as, just as unhappy as I am. Yeah. Now, if you feel that the majority of the people are unhappy as you are, what do you think would be the likely trend of events in Tanzania in the near future? I would like to uh, forecast what is going to happen, because it all depends upon how long will the people of Tanzania submit to this authoritarian rule. Hmm. Well, Dr. Nguyen, who is president of Tanzania today, has an accord with the presidents of Uganda and Kenya in the formation of the Arusha Plan, which is meant for the economic development of East Africa. Now, what do you think of those two leaders who shared this common accord with Dr. Nyerere? Well, I would like to speak for Kenya or Uganda, because as you know, I'm not coming from Uganda, I'm not coming from Kenya. Um, what my concern is, is the Tanzania itself. Because if Tanzania has chosen the way to socialism, and then it's it, it set up, it, it, it uh, agrees to come into the East African community, mm. my concern is how is Tanzania going to protect its socialism? Because the other, the other two are not, are not a socialist state. Yes. That's the first one. Yes. The second one is that uh, uh, whether this East African community is not, will save East Africans, or is it serving foreign powers in using the market for East Africa. Mm. There isn't enough, enough industrialization in East Africa. Mm. And I believe that uh, the East African community, if, if not we are careful, it may be used by foreign powers. Mm. What is your future plan, Mr. Kambona, as far as your uh, commitment to Tanzanians is concerned? First of all, I thought, you know, since I resigned voluntarily, I felt perhaps the best way for me is to, get to, to rest, and I'm, I'm earning my rest. But at the same time, I believe that uh, in Africa today, you need Africa, uh, Africans to think again and look at the problems seriously as to what has gone wrong. Mm -hmm. And when then after, after this, then perhaps uh, if the people of Tanzania will want to see, to have my contribution, I'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Kangola. Thank you.